You want to talk about yes, this? Let's one? talk about this. We should have talked about this earlier. Let's talk about this, ladies. Okay. Chime in. <laughs> I feel like every bitch has fucked with a DL man. Whether you know it, didn't know it or not, you fuck with that nigga. You know? And it's like, you might not have fucked with him after you found out, but I'm telling you, every bitch in America has fucked with a man as DL. Majority of these men are DL. I promise you. So, you know, no shame or nothing, because, I mean, hey, the bad it happened to the baddest bitches. But at least once in your life, you fucked with a DL man. And you may not know he's DL, but he's DL, boo. And it's okay. It's not okay, but it's okay for you because you didn't know. Now, if you openly know that he's DL and you still fuck with him, that's your business. That's that's up to you. That's how you live. That's how you choose to operate. Me personally, if I found out, I would stop fucking with him and leave him alone. But that's just me, you know? But, yeah, I feel like it's just like you can't win for lose. It's just like what the fuck do you do when you find out your nigga DL? Like, it's really not much you can fucking do. And it's just like what do you do? It's just like, you're going to feel disgusted and all that, but at the end of the day, you're just going to have to move the fuck on and go by your day. But the bitches that I really feel bad for is the ones that have kids with them. Like, oh, I know they be sick, but it's like, it's really nothing you can do. It's like all these men just love them, love each other. I don't know. I don't know. Are we? Are you starting it off for me? I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me tune in. Now, I do think that there's some truth to that, but I think that also fuels what we were just talking about a, a while ago, while why some straight men don't want to be friends, just li literally friends with a gay guy, because there is this, this, this idea that um, a, a majority of men are DL. I don't know if I get into the idea of all a, a majority of men are DL. I don't know if I believe that. I do believe, I, I don't know if I believe that. I do think that a man will fuck another woman. I don't know if I... May I interject? Go ahead. Can I interject, please? Mm -hmm. All right. We have to stop labeling something for, because of sexual experiences. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So you're saying if it was just one-time thing, that doesn't make you gay. You have to stop labeling things for sexual experiences. There are so many women out there that, that could be deemed DL because, and they've had experiences you know what I'm saying? and Or they may have had one woman that they fell in love with and they've been with that one woman. Does that make her gay? Right. There are, there are bonds and things that happen between two people that can transpire. We are, we are as human beings, we are wired a certain type of way for emotions, companionship. Yeah. You may be out here with a person right now that you felt is your companion, your soulmate or whatever, and then you meet somebody of the same sex, the same yeah, Oliver, the same thing that possibly is your soulmate. You just haven't had a sexual encounter with them yet. And then once if if it transpires, then it's like, oh my God, right. all this time I have been had, I have had myself into this situation. I don't think that necessarily makes you homosexual. Right. I agree. I just don't. Because if D Derek J had sex with a woman today, he's what does he identify as? A woman? I can only speak for me. Do you know how many of you women out there that have offered me pussy? <laughs> that no, that I have. That if I ever thought about it, like you know, and I say, you know what, Master, just going to get you some motherfucking pussy. Pussy is thrown at me all the time by badass by women that I deem badass women, like badass, fine ass, fucking women that have offered me pussy on a on a on a constant basis. If I hit them today, that does not make me heterosexual that does not make me automatically now because i don't hit this woman now all of a sudden i'm i'm if i feel it makes me a lesbian i've had a lesbian experience and see and that's what i'm saying like if Derek j had sex with a woman today that wouldn't make him bisexual it wouldn't make him straight he's just a gay man who had sex with a woman no, it was somebody wrote on instagram it would make me bi it does not make me bi because that's not my sexuality i've had an experience right that was just an experience i've had an experience but women do it all of the time in college honey them have experiences i mean do it all the time in friend groups cut it out <laughs> well you know they say these fraternities and sororities be it's okay this is Mary. When they cross in the line, Girl, when they when but, they cross, but this, but this is my thing, like you know, and them conventions. Correct. Mama Polar Bear said, "Sexuality is an extreme is is an extremely wide spectrum," and that is correct. 
but we have tried to condense it down to you you did this you're gay right you do that you're straight and this is why we have men like Boosie and um, and men from that era that are grooming their sons to become hypersexual individuals who who eventually turn out to having a homosexual experience mm -hmm. or having an experience because they're so hypersexual in a in a space where they've been introduced at an early age and the mind is clicking like you've listen you done fucked a whole bunch of bitches what's next especially if you're so hypersexual like that like what's challenging i think you start to look and crave for the next big thing the next thing the yes. next feeling so it's like just because you get pussy does not make you straight just because you've had an experience does not make you homosexual boosie definitely curious if he ain't been touched. Child, that dick's still hard from that man getting fucked in that shower. <laughs> right. That dick's still hard right now. Still hard. Still hard. <laughs> still hard. From that motherfucking man get riding that dick in that shower, holding the motherfucking ankles, riding that dick like this in the shower. <laughs> you see how Craig looking at my ass back there and turned away? He's gay. <laughs> He's gay. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. He's gay. <laughs> Boosie look head on at that. Okay. <laughs> in depth description of what happened. <laughs> A full play by play description of what happened. Hmm. Oh my goodness. There is something <laughs> not, not connecting. <laughs> It's not touching. Crack look, crack look, notice like yo. And kill go. Let's go. Kept looking. Then we would have. Maybe there'd be some curiosity. Who's <laughs> that man? Wanted bro. an experience, you know. Now there was a time that Craig was in that room watching Golden Girl <laughs> when we were on the road, and I and I tapped the door. I, I cried. I said, Craig, let me suck your dick. <laughs> I was laid and Craig was laid back in his pajama, his onesie, <laughs> and he said, mm, "You know what? Come on in." <laughs> and I said, "Bitch, I knew you was a fucking dyke." <laughs> mm, come on in. I wasn't doing. Then if this, if that experience had a transpire, it would have been too fat. He's having an experience. <laughs> but neither one of us would have stayed in a lesbian relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. You know, we're we're too tied up and we're too we're too invested in labeling things. It's too much investing in labeling. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I want you to get right for me are my pronouns so that we can have a conversation. My sexual encounters and my sexual who I choose to be with and who I choose to love, you don't need to get that right cuz that's between me and who I'm with. Right. So I don't need that. What I need you to get right are my pronouns, she, her, and hers. You get those wrong, we don't have to have any conversation because there's no reason for me to be conversating about who I'm with, who I'm fucking, who I'm having, uh, and kind of who's loving on me and, and until I decide to come forward with that and be like, this is my partner. Mm -hmm. And let me explain something to you, real, you, a lot of you hoes, real deeply. No matter who I ever come forward with or ever come with my partner, please believe Y'all always gonna try to get him some pussy because there's a thing in these people's mind that has made them think, why? Why the fuck would you not want to have all this? <laughs> when I got all this. Not Craig, check your Twitter your DM. Yeah. Uh <laughs> 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 she in it faster than me. Where's it? It's an active shooter. Where at Joe Alstein's church? Oh, hmm. yes, girl. Oh. 
Are they trying to? They trying to take Joel out of here? Lord, Ooh. my God, my Lord. God. I, I, like, listen. What wires these people to get up and go to church to do this? What is it that wires these people to get up? It's wild. To get up to go to these churches and do these things to these two innocent people. There was an active shooter. They asked him what happened. There was an active, sh- or is an active shooter, shooter at Joel Osteen's church, Lakewood Church. That's in Texas, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. But while we over here in this church community, we need to talk about Juanita Biden. Oh, yes. Oh, please. Oh, I, I got well, are it right we finished here. with that? Are we finished with that subject right there about the deal? Oh, yes. And and and, and to back her up, it is true. There are a lot of you women out there that are that have and possibly will. If as long as you give it, as long as you are alive and you're fucking men and you're dating men, there's a possibility that the man you may date might have had an experience. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Sorry, Pooh. Sorry, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with your pussy. Ain't nothing wrong with his dick. You just a choice of, of, of meats that <laughs> you're, you're just that choice of meat. A selection. You're just that meat selection right now. <laughs> you don't know the the, the, the the charcuterie board that this man might enjoy. You're just that selection of meat, and it's okay. And please don't think that you are above. <sighs> fucking around with a man who's had an experience because you're not. I'm sorry. There's no, no matter how fine you are, how beautiful you are, how sexy you are, how there, please believe that you are not above a man having an experience and you've dated him or fucked him. or you've, it's, You're not above it. Sorry, Keish. Let's go. Mm. 